Hi, my name is Landon Porter, and I'm the owner and lead developer of Honeycomb Custom Database Solutions, a FileMaker Pro consulting, training, and development company located in the beautiful city of Kansas City, Missouri. And I would like to welcome you to this tutorial on dynamic portal sorting. I'd like to point out that this tutorial is part of a three-part series called Th Portal 3D Magic. As the name implies for this series, the goal is to enhance user experience with respect to portal design, with the end purpose of helping users work more effectively and more profitably. And as the name implies, there are three components to this series, dynamic portal sorting, destination portal removing, and drag and drop portal removing. But like I said, today we'll be talking about dynamic portal sorting. So let's go ahead and move on over to sample database and begin the lesson. In my sample database, I have players, teams, and games, specifically with regard to baseball. On this example of a record for my teams, you can see that I have my player information located in this portal right here. And currently, the players are being sorted ascending by last name. But say I want to be able to sort this portal by um, ascending by number or descending by first name, for example. And I can do that with dynamic portal sorting. So let's talk about what that entails. In order to achieve dynamic portal sorting, we're going to need six new fields that are going to be located on the table which our portal is representing. And these six new fields are a sort field, sort order, sort ascending number, sort ascending text, sort descending number, and sort descending text. So let's go ahead and take a look at these in the database. Back in my database, I'm going to navigate to the table which represents this data here. And that table in this situation happens to be the team's players table. I'm going to scroll down, you can see my six fields here, my sort field, sort order, and then the four uh, sort, ascending and descending fields. So looking at my sort field, it's simply this. It's simply a text field that's global storage. Nothing more, nothing less. The sort order is simply a number field that's a global storage. Um, and the reason why these are going to be stored globally is so that uh, different users can sort the portal differently without stepping on each other's toes. Um, the sort field field is going to um, the data that's going to be put in that field is going to simply be the, uh, the exact syntax of the field that we want to sort by. So if we want to sort by first name, and that field's name is actually name underscore first, the text name underscore first will be what's in this field. The sort order will simply be a 0 or a 1 based upon if we're sorting ascending or descending. And then finally going into these, uh, these ascending and descending sort fields, all four of these are going to be unstored calculation fields uh, that are populated based upon the, the sort field that we're looking at. So if I just jump into the sort ascending by number, for example, you can see that the result is going to be a number type. It's an unstored calculation. And the formula is simply, if, simply this. If the sort order equals zero, which represents ascending in our case, then get field, sort field. So if the sort field, if the information in that field was name underscore first, it's going to get the value that's in that field. Pretty simple. Similarly, the text is exactly the same type of a field except the result is a text. And the descending fields are the same as the ascendings except that the sort order is set to equal one. And so those are our six fields. Now that we have our six fields including our four that are included in the sort, what we want to do is go to our relationship of that portal, and that's right here, teams to teams players. If I go into the relationship, you can see that it was set up to sort the records ascending by last name. So I'm going to clear that field, and I'm going to add the new sort criteria, and that's going to be ascending by number, ascending by text, and then descending by number, and then the descending text fields. And that is the new sort relationship and the six new sort fields for our portal. Okay, now that our six fields have been added to the table and our sort relationship has been created, the only thing that remains is to create our script and to apply it to these four column headers. So taking a look at the script, I've already created it, so let's just walk through it. The first step is to set a variable that is equal to the script parameter of the script for each uh, button for each column header. This script step is not necessary or required for the script to work. It's simply for development, development efficiency only. Obviously, instead of calling the variable throughout the script, you could call the function get script parameter and get the same result. So that's not required, but I like to do it. 
the bulk of this script will be held within this if statement. And essentially this if statement starts by saying if the team's player sort field is equal to this, this variable, the get script parameter, then go ahead and run this func function. Otherwise, go ahead and run these two. So if they're equal, what we're going to want to do is set the sort order field on that table equal to this calculation here. And looking at it, it's pretty simple calculation. It's saying if the sort order, that if that global field is not equal to one, then go ahead and set it to one. Otherwise, set it to zero. And what that's going to do is every time we click the same column header, it's going to alternate ascending and descending. All right? So moving on to the else portion of this script step, um, it's basically saying that the sort field is not equal to the column header that we just clicked, so go ahead and set the sort field equal to that column header, and then set the sort order to zero, which will be ascending. So that is the if statement. At the very end, what we'll do is just commit the records and then refresh the window by flush and also flush the cache join results. This last step is not necessary in our example because the sort relationship was applied to the portal, applied to the relationship in the relationship diagram and not to the portal itself. If you had applied the sort criteria to the portal itself, this script step is necessary to get the sort to work. So that's the script. The only thing that remains is to apply it to our column headers. So let's just go into layout mode now. So what we want is to go to our first name. We want to add this button, perform script. What we've done, we've selected it, and here's our script parameter, name underscore first. Similarly, with last name, I've already applied these, and so they're already on here, but what we're gonna do is perform the script, name last. The number is equal to number, and the position is equal to the parameter position go back into browse mode so now when I click a column header it sorts ascending by last name and then descending by last name ascending by position descending by position ascending by first descending by first and so there you have it dynamic portal sorting now that our portal is sorting dynamically there's still one thing left to do and we'll cover that one thing in a future tutorial but what that is is to to code in a way to provide feedback to the user as to the specific sort order of the portal just to allow them to know at a glance how the portal is currently sorted. But like I said we'll cover that in a future tutorial so check back for that soon. And if you have any questions over this tutorial or any other tutorials please email me at landon at honeycombdb.com that's l-a-n-d-o-n at h-o-n-e-y-c-o-m-b-d-b.com. Thank you.